<laughs> you what? Oh, come on now. No, don't tell me. No. What? You don't say. No. You know what? That just sounds like a bunch of hogwash. <laughs> What? Well, what does hogwash mean? Well, don't you know what hogwash means? Well, okay, then I'm going to tell you. Hogwash simply means something that, listen, something that's worthless, false, ridiculous, sort of like nonsense. Now, yeah, I know. You thought that hogwash sounds that I would be able to give you a bath using soap and get you a good scrubbing, but that's not hogwash is. Hogwash is a term that doesn't have anything to do with you, well, We'll find out more about that, but it's actually another word for nonsense, something that's not true, and something that just does not make sense. And so maybe you've heard someone say, that's a bunch of hogwash. Well, they're meaning that it just doesn't make sense and is not true. Now, where did this term come from, hogwash? No, I know you didn't make it up. Well, the term actually dates back to the Middle Ages when fine cooking was becoming an art. You know, it's well known that pigs are not particularly picky about what they eat, right? I didn't want you to hear that. So cooks would collect the leftovers or scraps from the meals and the meal preparations, and they would put it in a crock or a bucket, and sometimes the runoff from the local brewery may even have been included in this mixture. So this mixture of food bits, including some food that was probably rotten, was known as swill or wash. Now, you could imagine the aroma of this fermenting brew. Um, and so the cook or the kitchen staff would pour this concoction into the yard for hogs and pigs to eat. Yeah, sometimes they like it. So when one considers the smell that might have been present, it's easy to understand the current use of hogwash. That's ah, not true, that's nonsense. Actually, the first word or the word hogiswash first appeared in the 1400s in its literal sense, meaning swill or mix for a hog. By the 1600s, hogwash was used in an informal manner to speak about an alcoholic beverage that didn't have a strong alcohol content for the drinker. <laughs> Shortly after that, the term came to mean anything that was not up to par or was worthless. <laughs> so by the 1800s, the word hogwash underwent a change in the American English use and it was applied to any idea, any art, or any project that someone might thought was worthless. Often the word hogwash is used in anger or as an interject an interjection. So if somebody may be saying, you know what, I really believe that politician speaks truth, someone may just say, hogwash. Yeah. Other words for hogwash could be found such as balderdash or baloney or ridiculous or trash. Wow. So if this word hogwash makes means nonsense, what can we learn about nonsense in the Bible? Well, the Bible does have some things to say about nonsense. And often the same word of nons as nonsense is used as foolishness. In Job chapter 21, verse 34, the words are this. So how can you console me with your nonsense? Nothing is left of your answers but falsehood. So there we see the word nonsense and falsehood being used together. And it's a good reminder for us not to speak hogwash, not to speak ridiculous things, not to speak nonsense, not to speak foolishness, but to speak truth to people. Truth is very important in the lives of believers. Yes, Proverbs 12.22 says, The Lord hates those whose lips tell lies, but he is pleased with people who tell the truth. Truth, again, is very important in the lives of us and even in the lives of Piggy here. That's right, because if we are loving people, then we should be people who want to speak truth to each other. Remember those famous verses from 1 Corinthians 13? Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not want what belongs to others. It does not brag. It is not proud. It does not dishonor other people. It does not look out for its own interests. It does not easily become angry. It does not keep track of other people's wrongs. Love is not happy with evil. But guess what? It is full of joy when the truth is spoken. Now, hogwash <laughs> is not easy to listen to, and we don't like it. But truth is a much better 
fashion or form of words to use. So let's speak truth to each other and let's not put up with hogwash or nonsense. Right, Biggie? <coughs> All right, now you know what hogwash is. You ready for a bath? <coughs> All right. Hey, you have a day filled with joy and a day filled with peace.